In the world of problem solving, one name stands out, George Pollier. I this video we will focus on Pollier's problem solving process and its role in fostering critical thinking and creativity among students. George Pollier was a remarkable mathematician and a pioneer in teaching effective problem solving skills. Born in Hungary in 1887, he earned his PhD from the University of Budapest and became a professor at prestigious institutions like Stanford University. Pollier's legacy lives on through his numerous mathematical papers and three influential books. The most famous of these is, How to Solve It. He continued to inspire generations until his passing at the age of 98 in 1985. In 1945, Pollier published a groundbreaking book, How to Solve It, in which he introduced a four-step method for solving mathematical problems. Before you can solve any problem, you must first understand it. What's being asked? What information do you have? What's missing? Is it similar to problems you've encountered before? Are there unfamiliar terms you should define? Once you grasp the problem, it's time to develop a strategy. Think about different approaches, such as making a list, drawing a diagram, using a formula, or simplifying a related problem. Choose the best strategy that suits your situation. With a plan in place, it's time to execute it diligently. Apply your mathematical knowledge and critical thinking skills to work towards a solution. If you face challenges, consult resources like your textbook, or revisit your strategy in step 2. The final step is to check your answer using a different method if possible. Evaluate your problem-solving process. Was it effective? How could you have improved it? Consider alternative approaches for future problem-solving. As teachers, it's crucial to nurture critical thinking and creativity in our students. These skills are at the heart of effective problem-solving. George Pollier's problem-solving process and these strategies will empower your students to become effective problem-solvers, 